Welcome to the world of freestyle motocross. Follow these heroes as they travel over three continents competing in 12 rounds. Welcome to the Freestyle Motocross World Championship Series 2011. Today we check out the second round in Berlin, Germany. Hello guys, it's Javier Villegas here in Berlin. Very important to collect, very important points for the overall contest. It's time for the finals with the top six qualified riders and wow, the atmosphere is electric at round two of the FIM World Championships of Freestyle Motocross, the first of the two-day, two-round tour stop here in Berlin. First rider out is Romain Ito, welcoming him back to the fold as he puts on a great show. Beautiful Cordova flip right there, one of the best on the tour. Superman flip, looking clean. Good to have him back and showing off a great Shaolin flip right there. Could have stretched it out a little bit more. And I think probably it's going to take a couple of rounds for him to get the butterflies out. But it's nice to have him back. Oh, a bit of a dead sailor flip there. And these days, if you don't take something off the bike and combo it up, we will call that a dead sailor flip. Okay, up next, Libar Podmal, the world champ. He's been struggling a bit this year. Had a really bad ride in Turin. Didn't even make the final. And he's looking a little bit more on fire here in Berlin. And there is that underflip of his. Wow, he went long on it, but the landing was clean. That's one of the things that has been really strong for him last year. And there it is, the cliffhanger to no-hander lander. A great combo. And that's one of the things that Libor does so well and he was actually one of the first guys to pull that off there it is oh the underflip Indian and that has been giving him all sorts of trouble this year he just hasn't been able to nail it gets his foot caught there in the slow-mo you can see it and he goes down and he is upset about that nevertheless he will take over the hot seat good enough points and we move on to our next rider Javier Villegas from Chile he has been stellar. He is the new operator here. Been fantastic. And look at that. A Pastrana. One foot holding onto the bike, taking everything else off. There's a great big side show off the side of the bike, taking everything away. And look at this guy fly. Rock solid Indian air. One hand off the seat. A spectacular run from Villegas, the young Chilean. Really putting on a good show here. And the tsunami flip, perfect landing. Wow, spectacular. I said it again, spectacular, spectacular, spectacular. An amazing run from Javier Villegas. Not happy, I'm not happy, but uh, you know, I'm gonna work hard. I'm gonna come back stronger and uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, I just need a little bit more luck for next time. And we'll be all good again. I did one mistake on my run, missed one jump, but still beat Libor. Woo! Here in the hot seat watching Remy. Let's see what he brings to the table. All right, a man with a ton of experience and a man who's experienced the world championship status. He is on course now. Remy Bizoir injured for the beginning of last year, came on strong last season and managed to get among the top five, but he is looking strong. The man is an animal, and this year he is on a charge. Beautiful Shaolin right there. Man, did he ever get those legs spread. Backflip Tsunami. He stretched that one to backflip ruler. Wow. He is looking spectacular this year. A very good run and a very good start to the season for Remy Bizoir. And a heart attack flip one-hander to close out his run. Really nice. Bizoir takes over the hot seat after that run, so we have a new leader. So we're down to our last two riders here at the finals at night. Number one at this FIM World Championships of Freestyle Motocross. Second place qualifier Michael Malero starts off with a backflip Superman seat grab. Young talent here, real good rider coming out of Spain. Two Spanish riders really controlling things here at this event in the qualifiers. Valero with a Indian flip, kind of a sketchy flip there. Oh, but that super flip was super nice. Very well extended, good position on the bike. And here comes the underflip, really tweaking that bike over, trying his best to get that look right. And a backflip Superman seat grab Indian air, kind of reaching towards heart attack. Wasn't quite there, and it looks like Remy's gonna stay on the hot seat. 
Right, so one more rider still to come, and he won the qualifications on day one, and he has the advantage of being the last rider out. Jose Marias from Spain, El Loco. Backflip Superman seat grab, nice and clean. El Loco was really a surprise last year in the top three in the overall standings. Cliffhanger, hip check to Nohander Lander. Nice, that's his own variation, and another variation of his, the nine o'clock. There's the crack knack, the flatliner, and then there's that one, the nine o'clock. Backflip heel clicker to Nohander Lander, another nice combo. And he's putting down a good run here. Will he take over the hot seat with this? He may just. Another backflip Superman seat grab, this time adding in the Indian air variation. Judges will be looking to see that he doesn't do two tricks that are the same in the run, and the audience gives him la ola. They are appreciating the action put down by Jose Marias, and Marias wins it. He's got the prize on night number one. So this is gonna be a very interesting season. If he continues to forge ahead like this, the next round will herald the second day here in Berlin. Don't miss it.